This is John D. with OnMerge. I'm going to show you how to mail merge a batch of name tags, badges, stickers, or cards that have different graphics on each one. In this example, I'll show you how to create these nice name tags from this sample database. There are all kinds of uses for this. In this example, the organizer of an event is placing graphics on name tags to show people's special interest at a glance, but it could just as easily be their home state, rank, or whatever. Other people use symbols to code people's food preferences or which parts of an event each attendee is allowed to access. And of course, let's not forget the good old tradition of putting yearbook photos on high school reunion name tags. These will be printed on Avery 5095 name tags, but you go through exactly the same steps to print any badges, stickers, or cards where you're printing several on one page. If you need to get much fancier, Look for another video in this series which shows you how to prepare much more complex ID cards. Here I just happen to be using a spreadsheet as the merge data source. You can use just about any type of data source that Microsoft Word supports, with the exception of comma or tab separated data files, which can cause a problem. These are the Zodiac graphics, each in its own graphics file. Here the files are named so that they are a one-to-one -one match for the possible values in the Zodiac field of the Merge database. OnMerge also lets you set up complex relationships between the database and file names if you need to. The last image in this series is the one that OnMerge will use by default if I don't know the person's Zodiac sign. If you'd like to experiment with these Zodiac images, there is a copy of the files in the OnMerge Images Samples subfolder that both the free evaluation and full versions of OnMerge install in your My Documents folder. I'll be starting with a blank document, and I'll use the Mail Merge wizard to make this easier. So select Tools, Letters and Mailings, Mail Merge Wizard. The wizard shows up on the right side of Word. I'm going to select Labels here. I'm not exactly making labels, but this is the right choice whenever you want to print more than one item per page in a grid layout. I press next to move on to step two. I'm going to select change document layout and click label options. I select Avery 5095 forms and click OK then click Next to move on to Step 3. I now need to pick the Excel file I prepared earlier as the data source. I click Use an Existing List and click Browse, then navigate to select the Excel file. The first sheet in the list is almost always the one you want, so make sure it's selected and press OK. Then OK again. I'm done selecting the data source, so again click Next to move on to Step 4. I now need to lay out the first name tag. I'll just paste this in since I've already prepared it. The zodiac icon goes just below this, so I click on Insert, Picture, On Merge Image. The first thing I need to do is tell On Merge what folder all the Zodiac files are in. Click Browse, Navigate to the folder, and press OK. You don't need to select the individual graphics files in the folder, just the folder. The next six lines below let you specify six pieces of text that will be jammed together to create the file name. We only need to use the first line since the image files are just named with the zodiac sign that's contained in the database. In the first row, I select a type of merge database, and to the right, I select the zodiac field. OnMerge immediately notices that the pattern I just supplied matches a file so it shows a preview in the top right corner. If you want to see the preview for different data records, you can use the arrow buttons to the left of the preview image.
Now, there's one more little detail. What happens if the database doesn't list the person's zodiac sign, or if there's an error in the database? I want to use the organization's logo in that case. I click on the Options tab, select Merge this image, press Browse, and select the logo file. I'm done with OnMerge, so I press OK. The graphic needs to be centered, so I center it. I also want the person's first name under the Zodiac graphic, so I use the Mail Merge wizard to pull it in and make it large and bold. This is exactly the layout I want, so I press Update All Labels to propagate this layout to the other spaces in the grid. I'm now done with the layout, so I press Next to move on to Step 5. Word's arrow buttons in this step don't work very well on layouts where you have more than one record per page. Word doesn't display the image previews correctly when you use the arrow buttons so I suggest you just skip this step and move on to step 6. If you want to check your work, you can use Edit Individual Labels to get a proper preview in a new Word document. Once you're satisfied, you can go back to the Mail Merge Wizard and use the Print function to get your labels. This is a simple introduction to some of the things that OnMerge can do. You'll find plenty of other examples as well as a free downloadable evaluation version of OnMerge on our website at www.onmerge.com.